Hello brothers and sisters in Christ and decided to do a real quick study on why I use rapture instead of caught up. I've mentioned it in some videos but I kind of wanted to really get into it again. It's always good to refresh our memories and stay in the Word of God. So you look up the word rapture in the 1828 Webster's Dictionary. Uh, definition number one you get is a seizing by violence. Okay. So one of the definitions of raptures is you're taking something by violence, forcing it. Okay. Number two, transport, ecstasy, violence of a pleasing passion, extreme joy or pleasure. Music, when thus applied, raises in the mind of the hearer great conceptions. Okay. It strengthens devotion and advances praise into rapture. Now, what is this talking about? Well, the best way I can explain it is heavy metal. That type of music starts getting a fleshly, you get rised and everything. And if you remember your lost life, or I never was really into heavy metal, but the mosh pits where everybody's jumping around and bouncing off each other, it's all fleshly and it starts to get violent. Okay, people have gotten hurt in those. So, when it talks about uh, advanced praise into rapture, uh, certain music can elicit a seizing by violence. Okay. I, I'm sorry, transport, ecstasy, violence. You go to a place where it's just all, you know, fleshly. First, uh, definition number three, rapidly with violence. There's the word violence again. A hurrying along with velocity as rolling with torment rapture. Now they had a fourth definition in there, enthusiasm, uncommon heat of imagination. Just an imagination. Right. So there's the definitions, but let's look at the Bible and see why God chose not to use rapture. 1 Thessalonians 4, 16. I'm a King James Bible believer, so get your King James Bibles out. Follow along, please. 1 Thessalonians 4, 16. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, and with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these things. Okay. That's why it says caught up together. We call it the catching way of the body of Christ because we're caught up. Okay. Now notice it says, wherefore, comfort one another with these words. We just saw the definition of rapture. If you're going to be raptured, is that a comforting thought? You're going to be seized with violence and taken by force? And... No. Um, that's why it says caught up. And we're going to get into what the best, why I use a certain example for caught up. But it's supposed to be a comfort. We're supposed to comfort one another. Another. Mm -hmm. We want to go when God calls our names. It's not like we're going to be fighting them. 1 Corinthians 15, 51. Another thing to take into, uh, take into account. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruption must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall put on incorruption, and this mortal shall put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. I wanted to go that far because the saying, that Death is swallowed up in victory, when that happens, that's really when it's going to hit people for force. And, but the part that we're mainly focusing on is verse 52. In a moment... In the twinkling of an eye. If you're taking th something by force, there's a struggle. Okay? You're grabbing somebody, like a cop that's arrested somebody that's, that's trying to fight him. I don't want to go into that cop car. So he takes him, seizes him by force, and there's violence involved because he's struggling and fighting, and they get him in the car. Two officers usually grab him, put him into the car. Okay? Does that happen in a moment in a twinkling of an eye? If they're seizing by violence, if we're being forced and if there's violence involved, is it going to happen in a moment in the twinkling? Let's say in a moment in the twinkling of an eye. Okay. Remember, one of the parts of this ministry is words have meaning. Okay? God chooses certain words for a reason. 
mankind uses a certain word certain words for a reason okay uh, first thessalonians 5 9 if you want to turn there next for god hath not appointed us to wrath but to obtain salvation by our lord jesus christ who died for us that whether we wake or sleep we should live together with him so we are not appointed to his wrath why because we have obtained salvation by our lord jesus christ Who's appointed to God's wrath? If you want to turn to Colossians 3, 5, we'll see who's appointed to God's wrath. Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry. Okay. For which things sake the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience, in the which he also walks sometimes, past tense, when you leave, lived in them. Okay? The wrath of God is for the children of disobedience. As we read in 1 Thessalonians 5, 9, they're the ones that haven't obtained salvation through Christ Jesus our Lord. So we know in that seven-year period, it's called the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay? It's God's wrath is being poured out on this earth. So we're not going into it. So um, what I always say, brothers and sisters Christ, the uh, example that I use is somebody's walking along there's a hole up there you can't see the hole it, you just know that somewhere down this path that you're walking you have to walk this path there's a hole down there and you don't know where and it's right in the middle of the path there's no way to get across you can't go around or nothing it's right in the path and as you're walking there's some kind of stone that you can't see that that's going to cause you to trip okay that's right before that hole. So as you're walking down the path, you don't see either. You don't know where the hole is. It's pretty hidden, kind of blending in. You don't know where the rock is. It's blending in. You don't even know the rock is there. Uh -huh. You know there is something there, but you don't see it. It's the best way to say it. So you're walking down this path. What happens? By the time you get to that rock, you trip. Now, when you're walking forward and the hole is forward, you trip, which way are you going to fall? Forward towards the hole, okay? So you're tripping, you're falling, you're about to fall into that hole. What happens? Someone grabs you, catches you, so you and pulls you back up so you don't fall into that hole. That's why God chose the word caught up. When the time of Jacob's trouble comes, there's going to be an event where we're going to be called up. Almost like we're tripping, not that we did anything wrong, but I'm just saying like we're tripping. And are we going to fall into the time of Jacob's trouble? God says, no, you're not. My wrath isn't appointed to you. And he catches us and pulls us up. And then the time of Jacob's trouble starts. It has, violence has nothing to do with it, brothers and sisters in Christ. Okay? He calls our name. He's going to call us by name. Come in the clouds and call us by name. We're going to look up and, and we're just... I, it's in a moment, a twink of light. I don't even know if there's going to be a second where we can have joy. And we're going to have joy when we get up there, but you understand what I'm saying. It's going to happen so fast. But we're going to be happy about it. We're going to say, yes, Lord, take me. Like I said, it might happen too fast for us to actually have that feeling completely. We'll be in heaven saying, praise the Lord, and seeing all the saints, uh, brothers and sisters in Christ, um, be with Jesus Christ. But it's, an ex it's a blessed hope. Okay. It says uh, 1 Thessalonians 4.16, Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. It's a blessed hope. It's a wonderful thing that's going to happen. If there's violence involved, it's not a wonderful thing. See, God chose words for a reason. And for the longest time, I kept saying rapture, 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 rapture. And it took a good while for God to get it out of my vocabulary where I say the catching away of the body of Christ. We're going to be caught up, which is what it says in... Um, 1 Thessalonians 4.16. Now, a little bit just adding just to the study. I just wanted, that's the study. Try to use rapture. Uh, don't try to use rapture. I said I almost said it wrong. Try not to use rapture. Try to get that out of your vocabulary. That's man's words. Traditions of men. Okay? Man's wisdom. Okay? God's wisdom. He chose caught up for a reason. Um, if you want to turn to 1 John 3.1. 1 John 3.1. Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. 
Therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be, but we shall but we know that when he shall appear we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is, and every man that hath this hope, the blessed hope, in him purifieth himself even as he is pure. I've said this in other studies. Looking for the catching away of the body of Christ isn't just sitting on the deck and looking at the clouds. I'm raising my hand because I do that a lot too. I don't know if any other brothers of Christ do that. And just looking at the crowd saying, it's today the day, it's today the day. Oh Lord, just take me, just take me. I'm tired of this sick world and everything. No, looking for the catch away of the body of Christ includes that right there. Purifying himself even as he is pure. Sanctification. You looking for the catch away of the body of Christ is saying, I'm going to bust and work as hard as I can to make sure my life is a godly life. That everything I do pleases God. You can give God glory in it. You can give God thanks in it. All right? And when I fall down, uh, on, sometimes flat on your face, stumble, fall down, that you repent. Okay? It's Titus 2.12. Titus 2.12. Teaching us that, denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. Looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the, gr of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ, who hath himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a particular people, zealous of good works. These things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority. Let no man despise thee. Okay. There we see it again, looking for that blessed hope. Brothers and sisters in Christ, it's not enough to just say, man, I just wish God would come back any day now. You need to look at your life, okay? But once again, you're looking at your life, you're making sure everything's great, and you're ready for it. Not ready, ready. I always say you'll never be ready. There's always sanctification. But you understand what I'm saying? You want to go. Your life, you're serving God, you're doing right, you fell flat on your face. How many of you fall flat on your face like I do, and you're like, man, if God had came back right then... I gave in to temptation, started falling into sin for a while, and it's like, that would have been the worst time for God to come back. Oh, Lord, I'm so sorry. How many of you actually have that in your heart where that actually comes across your mind when you fall into sin and temptation? God could come back any moment now, and I'm, I'm in the middle of sin. I'm falling into sin and temptation. That's, that's something big to think about. Right? So I just want to do a quick video on rapture or caught up, why I use the word caught up. So grace and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all, brothers and sisters in Christ, and my love for you in Christ Jesus our Lord. See you in the next video.